Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, Bank Nifty hardly moved in the range of 300 points. Very disappointing day for directional traders. You know, but the good thing is that the direction may soon be on the cards. So let's begin with today's analysis and let's see based on the movement of Bank Nifty in the past two to three days, particularly what may happen. So first thing from a Bank Nifty's weekly analysis point of view on the weekly chart, see there are three more days left. Okay, for Bank Nifty's candle to close. So far, what we are getting, we are getting a selling candle and after that we are getting a pause. Okay. Now this pause candle, it making a doji currently, right? Now the, whenever you had a doji, you have to trade the high low break of the doji. So even in the current week, if the high breaks or the low breaks, we'll be trading that range. Okay. That was it from the weekly perspective. I'll talk about the daily perspective now. So bank nifty, see, first of all, from the daily perspective, this low is still a higher low. So the structure is higher, high, higher low. Okay. And we need either it to go down and make a lower low or, you know, this has to break down right now. Okay. So in either of these two cases, if it happens, then we'll plan something bearishness as per the daily charts. But till then the structure looks pretty uh, bullish. But now finally, you know, itne pichle dino mein, we were not getting a good candle. Okay. Good candle to take trades on. Now, finally, at least we have an inside candle. So if the inside candle breaks downwards, we'll take a bearish trade. If it breaks upwards, we'll take a bullish trade. So bank nifty is pretty sluggish. Okay. It's like more or less more trading in a very small range and it's closing where it's opening itself. But if you check, go and check nifty, nifty is giving a clear cut all selling like trade to us. Now, usually, you know, I've experienced one thing. Now imagine this down move. Okay. Whoever sells very late. Okay. Let's assume they sold somewhere here. They'll get screwed very quickly on the upside. Okay. Now, after this move on the upside, when this gap was filled, which we were talking about. Okay. And then I told you to like, take it very slow on the bullish side near that gap. So after that gap, whoever bought near the gap, now they are losing because they bought very late. Okay. So from a pure risk reward point of view, the risk reward for selling is very less in bank nifty as of now. Cool. So like what I see, I see, you know, last two, three days, the stranglers might have made some very good money, like intraday. Anyone who sells intraday, the probability of them making good money today was very high because market didn't move much in bank nifty particularly. So I'm expecting all the stranglers in the next one to two days. I think they'll be horribly screwed. So let's see if this goes right or wrong. See on the 15 minute time frame, what I can see, I'll tell you, I can see bank nifty being stuck in this range. Okay. What the range is on the upside, the range is 46, 730. The downside, the range is 46, 250. Okay. So market is stuck in this range currently. Now I am expecting bank nifty in this range market has like touched the resistance one, two, three, four, five times the support. It has like touched here once, two, three, four. So both of them have been tested a lot of times now support and the resistance, which means both are weak now. Okay. Now, whenever both support and resistance are weak, what should you do? Ideally, you should just go and trade the breakout of that range. Okay. So we are expecting tomorrow that breakout to come. If it does come, like, let's see. Okay. Like how we capitalize on it. You know, I'm personally, I'm hoping like we get a trade on the upside because the risk reward for selling is pretty bad. Although even if you sell now, at least the stop loss has become very small. Pehle to you didn't have a decent stop loss to give on the selling side. See, I got a few comments saying today morning that yesterday, you know, I forgot to give the gap up, gap down and flat analysis. It's not that I forgot it's intentionally why I've done that. Why? Because you know, we are trapped in this range, right? So until market is trading in this range, I can't tell you anything. So above this or below this, if the market goes, okay, then probably like we can turn directionally. So intentionally, I don't give it even today. I won't because like, it doesn't matter. We have to break the range where we open tomorrow actually doesn't matter. We have to trade the break. So I'm just ready for that. So what have we done? Like we have done, okay. Far OTM strangles we've taken. Okay. Now, even if the premiums double, like you should be comfortable losing that amount, that kind of quantity you can take. Uh, you should probably avoid your trades with taking them full capital in this market. Cool. So now let's discuss Nifty because bank Nifty is giving us a range bound kind of a view. Let's look at Nifty now. 
Now, first thing from the Nifty weekly chart, what can I see? I see a big red candle. Okay. And now for the top formation, we need a big red candle. And below the low of the red candle, we should close with another red candle. Now, this week, we can potentially get it, but still three more days to go. So let's see if we do get that for most probably this 20 to 500 level could be a top for me. And then, you know, it might take us time to revisit that level. So on the nifty weekly chart, let's hope for a red candle closing. If it happens very good for us on nifty and then we can plan bearish trades. Yesterday, what we discussed in nifty, we discussed this inside bars here, these inside bars. So since three days market was trapped in this like big candles range. Okay. Now we gave a clear breakdown of this range. Now, what should the view in Nifty be? Clear calls and view. Okay. Bank Nifty strapped in the range. Nifty is broken down below the range and given a breakdown. Correct. Now, in under any circumstance, you know, when will we come to know this is a fake move or not? Okay. Market, if it tries to close above this red candle, if the market closes above this red candle, most probably the down move can be fake then. So, this 22,000 level in Nifty becomes very important for us on the upside. Okay, this we need a good daily candle close above 22,000 for us to regain our bullish stance. Apart from that, it's clear call sell in Nifty. Uh, Nifty today gave a great breakdown. The problem was, you know, I was trading Bank Nifty. So I missed this move in Nifty because, you know, Bank Nifty expires tomorrow. So the theta decay, if a move happens there, it's very quick. So we always prefer to trade like as the expiry comes closer, we prefer to trade that expiry. Now Nifty, I'll teach you something very similar, support and resistance here, okay? So as you can see, like this was, used to be a support, market broke that, it came down, it went up, this turned into a resistance, okay? Now when it came up, down, market again took support from here, and then it kept taking support. So, but what happened? One, two, three. Three times we took support already, which means support has gotten very weak. Yesterday I discussed this for especially, you know, skip to my nifty analysis yesterday. That's what I discussed in nifty. Now the support which was tested three times was broken with a good candle today. Okay. So then this, this might turn into resistance. Let's say it comes up. It is possible that in this zone, we might face a resistance and then again come down. Cool. So let's see. And on the upside, we, we know we are wrong. Okay. In the downside prediction on nifty, if market tries to go above, this zone of 22,000. Okay, if market breaks that, we'll come to know that we are wrong then. And then we'll have to like shift to a bullish bias then. So let's see if this down move comes in Bank Nifty tomorrow. I'm hoping for an up move still. Cool, because I told you in Bank Nifty, the risk reward for selling is pretty bad. In Nifty, now one thing I want to add in Nifty, okay, Nifty, what I want to add, if the market opens flat, okay, now where, when can you continue a bearish bias? We need a good candle close below this level of today's low. Now, if that happens, the sellers, okay, will be in control again. So we need that to happen. If it gaps up, okay, it may be volatile. If it gaps down, okay, we need to see like how it's reacting after the first, you know, half an hour kind of a range. But if it opens flat tomorrow, nifty, then you should trade only the breakdown of that range. Okay, so those of you who wanted the gap up, gap down flat thing, I told you for nifty, bang nifty, I didn't tell you. So let's hope this works out tomorrow. And if you did get any value from this video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps us tremendously to grow our channel and most importantly, keeps us motivated to give more and more uh, logics of ours and share them. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, Nikita will see you tomorrow. And don't forget to hit the like button and have a great day.